What is going on, all of my amazing survivors? This is Zachariah of Fire and Ice Games reaching out to you on a Wednesday night. So, um, first off, I want to apologize for not uploading more. I've uh, been very, very busy trying to organize cards and trying to get everything laid out so we can get our website open. We are shooting for December, early December to get everything open. So. I will work on trying to get as many videos out to y'all as I can, um, but there may be a small, small lapse. All right, I may have to drop down like four or five videos a week instead of doing as many as I have been. Um, before we get started, if you could please go to our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to it. We are sitting at 28 viewers, so I'm still trying to get to that 30. I uh, need all the help we can get. So if you're watching this, hop on our YouTube, subscribe to the channel, start liking and sharing some videos. If you're on Facebook, please um, subscribe slash like to our page and then start liking and sharing some videos. And as always, if you're on Facebook, go to YouTube, subscribe, like, and share. If you're on YouTube, go to Facebook, subscribe slash like, like, and share. Okay? Um, so I released a video last night, I believe it was. I think it was last night. And there was no intro. There was no nothing. It was just a straight Pokemon opening. Okay? And... Um, I was exhausted. I did like I honestly I had no energy to try to uh, try to put an intro together. So, um, but I hope you all enjoyed it. I really did. We finally found some Champions Path. We opened a lot of Champions Path this weekend. Our investor, um, you know, the, our investors rather the Gravely family, um, who's also you know the service electrician. Um, he does everything from residential and commercial service work. So if you need anything uh, electrical, let me know. Okay. But they they went shopping, and when I say they went shopping, they did not go small. They went big, and they brought a lot. We opened a lot. We opened a lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh booster boxes, and I was going to film it all, but we were literally just trying to build up on our stock. So um, I'm probably going to do a video. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight booster boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh that we opened, and then we did uh, seven uh, we did seven of the Elite Trainer Champions Path Boxes and three, excuse me, of the um, other Champions Path Boxes that we opened. And it was absolutely amazing. Uh, we didn't get the Charizards that we were hoping for, but we did pull the Charizard. So that is a positive. And then, of course, you know, what I released last night was the last Elite Trainer Box and the last other pack that we got. So um, I kind of was going back and forth on what tonight's video should be. I decided we were going to do Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, that being said, I decided I'm going to break my one rule, okay? Um, I'm kind of filming and uh, I'm filming in a different spot mainly because the other side of the table is just covered in Pokemon cards. We're in the process of organizing it and getting everything ready because uh, we're planning on starting inventory on everything next week to get them uploaded onto our website. Uh, with pictures and prices and things of that nature. So tonight, just as a apology for me filming in a different area, um, I'm going to be opening up some Yu-Gi-Oh products for you. And I'm not going to open them, you know, where I have everything laying out for you. We're literally going to, I'm going to show you the product and we're going to dive in. I'm going to open them for you on camera and you're going to be able to see exactly what I pull as I pull it. Okay, so I hope everybody enjoys. Um, I appreciate everybody's support. Uh, more than you know. I really do. And I am trying my best to give you all the best product that I can. And I'm trying to give you all the best videos that I can. You will start seeing some changes next week. Uh, this weekend I'll be working on, I finally got some music um, provided to us from Ron Flowers, who is a, um, he creates music. Uh, and I worked with, um, or I communicated with him. He gave us our he gives our opening music and our mu and music that we'll be playing throughout our video during the openings. So I'm going to be implementing those into our um, I'm going to be implementing those into our videos, and I'm hoping hoping to have our opening. I'm um, trying to have a special opening, so we're going to change up our change up our video a little bit. Okay, try to modernize it a little bit. So um, I mean that's pretty much all I got. Anybody that um, you know anybody that's kind of suffering right now just know that i'm in your corner you're doing great today's wednesday you've made it halfway through this week um it's been busy for me uh because like i said i'm working i'm getting home about 6 30 6 45 and then i'm staying up late trying to get this done um it does get straining sometimes now some of you probably have uh the struggles are a lot harder on your end but just know that you do have an advocate that uh if you ever need me i'm here for you okay just don't give up ever 
you've got more fighting than anything you give yourself credit for. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive in. We're going to take a look at some Yu-Gi-Oh! We're going to open up some Yu-Gi-Oh! And we are all going to enjoy it together. So um, that's pretty much all I got. Let's give it a go. All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and dive in. First and foremost, we've got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos box that we're going to be opening up. It's got four booster packs, four duelist packs, and one mystery blister. Uh, blister. I've opened up one of these on our channel before. Um, I believe last time we got a Legend of Blue Eyes box. We did not pull a hollow, but that does not mean we won't pull one today. So hopefully that turns out something for us. I also got, and again, I apologize for the Pokemon videos in the background. My brother-in-law has been helping me organize, and it's taking forever. I don't think we'll ever get done. Uh, next, I went ahead and picked up a Legendary Duelist Season 1 box. We're going to go ahead and dive in. We pulled some really good cards from these on the channel, and uh, hopefully we get a couple more. They've got a lot of rare cards in here. And then last, I went ahead and picked up one of the uh, 2020 uh, Megatons that they released. These are probably one of the best sets. They've also got the Red Eyes uh, Black Dragoon card, which is the most... Uh, it's the more valuable card in the set. So hopefully we we're able to pull something good for that. Anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see what we can get. We're going to dive in with the Legendary Duelist Season 1 pack first. So. Alright. That's it for the box. All right, so we got the Red Eyes Baby Dragon as our promo card. That's actually one of the more uh, expensive promo cards you can get. So that's got a lot of value to it. That's a good pull there. And it comes with two booster packs as well. So let's open our first one, see what we can pull. All right. Corrosive Scales, okay. Megaroid City, Cyberdark Claw, Toon Gemini Elf, Toon Cyber Dragon, which is really good because, you know, there are a lot of Toon cards in here. Uh, Return of the Red Eyes, which is also good to get. Parasite Paranoid, Manga Reran, it's another Toon card, it's good to have. Teen, or Toon Goblin Attack Force, very nice. We've also got some Crystal Beast, so we've got the Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. We got the Amazonas Call. That's our first holo. It's a good one. Okay, we got the Tune Table of Contents. Um, this is one. I think this is like the fourth or fifth uh, more valuable card in this set. So that's actually a really good pull. I'm happy for that. And then Fury of Kairu Shin. Okay. And then we go to the Tune Barrel Dragon, Crystal Abundance, Amazonas Princess, Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat. And rare value. All right, all in all, not bad. Best pull that we got in this one, of course, is our tune table of contents. So that is a good pull. I'm gonna put this over here. And again, I apologize for the Pokemon card you see in the background of this video. We're kind of just doing this on the back end. I do apologize for the puppies barking in the background. So, all right, our second one. All right. We've got our Ancient Gear Golem, Ultimate Pound. We've got our, our Cyber Darkness Dragon, Rainbow Path, Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle, a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, non holographic. Still able to pull that card, that's always a plus. We got the Heavy Metal Raiders, it's a good hollow. We've got our Relinquished Fusion, this goes along with the, uh, the rest of the Relinquished cards that are found in the set. And a Melfi Rabby. Okay, those are it for our hollows. We got a Toon Mass Sorcerer. A Thousand Eyes of Strix. So, again, when you're looking at the Relinquished Fusion, this would help pull out the uh, Thousand Eyes of Strix um, Summon. We got the Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Ancient Gear Golem. The Black Stone of Legend. The Black Dragon's Chick. Crystal Blessing. Toon Dark Magician Girl, very nice, non-holographic. The Mixeroid, and Relinquished itself. All in, I, that was actually a really good pull. Not so much on the uh, holographics, but as far as our commons and what we were able to pull there. So that's, uh, that's a really good pack. 
Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. I don't think we've actually pulled that one before. The Blackstone of Legend, we have pulled the Black Dragon's Chick is Good. And then, of course, the Doom, uh, the Toon Dark Magician Girl and the Relinquished. So, if y'all know me, y'all have heard me speak before. Um, I absolutely love the Relinquished uh, monsters. They were some of my favorites. So, next we're going to dive into our Chaos Box. Again, this comes with four booster packs, four duelist packs, and one mystery blister. So... Let's see what we can get. Just so y'all know, this is one of the reasons why I don't actually open up all of these on video, just because it tends to make a mess. So, all right. There's our mystery pack, and nothing else there. All right, let's see what we got. We got a Duelist Pack Yugi. A Duelist Pack Kaiba, very nice. A Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians. I don't think I've actually pulled one of these from these Chaos Boxes before. A Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians again. We have our Dimension of Chaos. Cybernetic Horizon. A Galactic Overlord. And a Speed Duel, Arena of Lost Souls. All right, we'll go ahead and start with the, uh, with the Speed Duel. I'm not a fan of the Speed Duel uh, decks or cards. So, um, I mean, I know there is a certain following to them of people that actually really enjoy opening them. I'm not one of them. However, they do come with some pretty cool cards. So we got Dragon Zombie, Violet Crystal, Conscription, and Zombie Tiger. So that's what came out of the Speed Duel pack. All right. Next, we're going to dive into the Galactic Overlord. A little bit closer. Goodness. Alright. We got the Commander of Swords. Insector Firefly, the Heratic Dragon of Nepcut, the Heratic Dragon of Tefnuit, very nice, it's rare. Okay, and we got number 32, Shark Drake. It's a Sea Serpent, that's our holographic for the set, very nice. We got an Overlay Eater, a Camera Clops, Mini Guts, and Berserk Scales. Very nice. All right, next, let's go ahead and dive into our Cybernetic Horizon. There we go. Damn, that other pack is just getting impossible to open. Let's see what we got. The Mini Boral Dragon. Perfomorphal. Hansma, Hansma Rega. Okay. Goki Ring Trainer. A Cosmo Brain. The Wee Witch's Apprentice. That's our holographic. It's also a Link Monster. That's a good one. A Rupert Dacus. Divine Serpent Gay. Perform Ball Lubbleman. And a Cyber Dragon Vier. Alright. Let's see. Let's go ahead and knock out the Dimension of Chaos next. I think I've opened two or three of these on the channel. We'll, uh, I think we got some pretty, if I remember correctly, I think we got some pretty decent pulls last time. Let's see if we can keep that up. So we got the Super super Heavy Samurai Thief, the Cosmol Wicked Witch, the Perform Age Mirror Conductor, Shuffle Reborn, the DDD Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok, the Fright for March, Perform Age Plush Fire, the Majespector Crow Yada and the Super Heavy Samurai Soul Horns. So no holographic in that one, but we did get a rare DDD Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok. All right, can immediately dive right into our Dimensional Guardians here. So let me pull out of this one. 
the red wyvern, the mirror resonator, cyber prima, the king synchro rare, and the performopal barracuda. I don't think I've ever pulled that on camera. I don't think I've actually ever pulled that period now that I'm looking at it. It's a good looking card though. But it's planned. So I doubt I'll ever play that card. But like I said, any hollows that we pull on this channel is, uh, is a plus. Because again, all of these are going to be available for all of you as soon as we get everything out and going. Okay. Now this is our second duelist pack. The Dimensional Guardians. Let's see what we get. We got the Cypher Spectrum. Reject Reborn. Machine Angel Ritual. The Resonator Call Rare. And... The Ritual Sanctuary. Very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do the Duelist Pet Kaiba first. So it is possible to uh, to pull uh, some of Kaiba's ultimate monsters. I have not had such luck with those. Maybe that will be different. But um, yeah, I mean, it is possible to pull Blue Eyes White Dragon out of these. Um, I think the most. I don't think I've ever pulled a Hollow out of uh, one of Kaiba's. So. Let's see, we got the Magic Reflector, Z-Metal Tank, Soggy the Dark Clown, Polymerization, and Different Dimension Dragon. So that's our rare, no hollow in this one. Okay, I have pulled the Different Dimension Dragon before. Let's see if Yugi provides us with a little bit better luck. We got the Stronghold, the Moving Fortress, Bing Shield, Gardna, Green Gadget, Yellow Gadget, and a rare Monster Reborn. It is damn near impossible to pull a holographic out of these uh, Duelist packs. So, I mean, again, though, Monster Reborn, that goes all the way back to the classics from when I used to play as a kid, so I'll never get, uh, get tired of seeing those cards. Now, we have the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Mystery Pack. These are kind of hit or miss. Um, it kind of includes one booster pack and one rare card. So, again, hit or miss on these. Sometimes it's uh, it's an amazing pull. Other times, not so much. So, let's see what we got lucky with today. So, for our rare, we got a Lector Pendulum, the Draco Overlord. Okay. Very nice. And, okay, a Dark Crisis pack. Let's see. I think it's got a uh, Exodia Necros in the back. Let's hopefully, uh, hopefully pull something good. Let's see. At this point in time for the Dark Crisis, I'm just kind of hoping we uh, we get a Hollow. So let's see what we got. We got Falling Down, Dice Reroll, Suzuki Samurai Number Two, Twin Swords of Flashing Light, Trice. Skill Drain, very nice, that's our rare. Ojama Trio. Cestus of Dagla. Iron Blacksmith Katetsu. And Pandemonium Watchbear. So no holographic on that one, but we did get a rare Skill Drain. You pay a thousand life points. The effect of all face-up effect monsters are negated. I actually used to rock this card uh, in my deck back in the day. A long way back in the day. All right, so that brings us to our final opening of the night. We're going to open up this Mega Tim. Let's see what we can get. Um, I've opened up, goodness, probably 10, 15 of these um, in hopes of pulling the best cards. I will tell you, out of all the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tins that I've opened, this one has been the one that just was definitely worth the value. Over, like, tenfold. You can't go wrong. It does not come with the promo pack, but it does come with three of the 2020 10 of Lost Memories Mega Packs. So, the last one I opened, I did not do on camera. I did it in my car on the ride home, and I ended up pulling the Red Eyes Black Dragoon. So, that uh, card will be available for purchase as well. Or, if you'd like to go ahead and uh, purchase it now, you can private message me. I'm perfectly fine with that. But... There are a lot of cards in each one of these packs. So let's see what we got. We got the Dwembered Glimmer. Extra Hero Cross Crusader. Gladiator Beast Sagittari. The... Whoo! I might want to pronounce that. That is awful. Just the Desperate Doom Eagle. There you go. 
The Dino Wrestler, Giga Spinosaba. Very nice. Utopic Dark Infinity. Holographic. 4,000 attack and defense. We got the Evil Eye Retribution. We got the Striker Dragon. Okay. Super Anti Kaiju War Machine. Mecha Thunder King. Very nice. Win the Wind Charmer. Verdant. And we got a Rare Emperor Maju Garzette. The Guard Dragon Core Awakening. The Fist of the Unrivaled Tenyi. Danger Feats of Strength. We got the Dino Wrestler Chimera T Rexel. Guard Dragon Cataclysm and Crusher Run. Very nice. So actually, uh, there's some cards in there that I actually have not pulled before. So, it's always a plus. And then we got some uh, pretty good uh, hollows out of that one as well. None of the higher dollar ones, uh, if I remember correctly. None of the higher dollar ones, but that's okay. So, next pack. We got the Rocket Synchron. Dino Wrestler Marshall and Pello. The Morch Log. Dark Factory of More Production. Valkyrie Chariot, very nice. The Desperate Doom Eagle, again. The Astra Ghouls, look at that, holographic. That's a good looking card. Yeah, it's a zombie. So, we have the FA Shining Star GT. Witchcrafter Adele. Okay, and we got the Mech Knight Crusadia, Arvermax. And Spin Turn. Okay, and then we got our rare White Aura, Monoceros. The XYZ, Sly Dolphin. The Hita, the Fire Charmer, Ablaze. Gladiator Beast United. The Nebula Dragon. The Familiar of the Evil Eye. And look at that, the Salmon Gray, Violet Chimera. Very nice. All right, you know, Witchcrafter Adele is probably our best pull out of that set. All right, down to our last pack of the night. Another 2020 of Lost Memories Mega Pack. I mean, as y'all can see, these come with a lot, a lot of cards in them. Um, these tins are actually only going for still 20 bucks, so it's a pretty good steal. And the cards are uh, pretty diverse as well, so if you're looking to build a deck or simply collect, they got something for a little bit of everybody. So we got the Subterra Succession. Trickstar Fusion, Infinity Track Drag Shovel, Dino Wrestler Marshall Anga, Monk of Tenyi, we got the Valkyrie Chariot, Witchcrafter Madam Vare, very nice. We got a Speed Lift and Shaman of the Tenyi, very nice. And then Storm Dragons Return. Very nice. Oh, and the Evil Eye Defeat. I have actually not pulled this card before. If you control an Evil Eye monster, target one monster on the field, or up to two instead. If Evil Eye of Selene is in your spell and trap zone, return them to the hand. You can only activate one Evil Eye Defeat per turn. Very nice. We got the Cap Shell, Salomon Great Foxer, Pegasus Wing. Tinny Spirit, Adahara. Narensis, Crown Tail. Hop Ear Squadron. And the BES Blaster Cannon Core. All right, very nice. Again, I think the Shaman of Tinny is probably our best one in that set. All right, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this, uh, this evening. Uh, we were kind of going back and forth on which packs to open. We decided to kind of go for a Yu-Gi-Oh! because we had that huge opening with Jeffrey. Uh, not too long ago, and then uh, I released a Pokemon video last night. So I was on the way home. I was like, "What are we gonna open? Let's do some Yu-Gi-Oh." We haven't done a you know pretty good Yu-Gi-Oh uh, video opening in a while. Now we'll tell you um, all these, you know, all three of these: the Chaos Box, the Legendary Duelist Season One, and the Mega Ten are all still available at uh, like Walmart. And uh, well, two of those products are, are uh, all three of these are at Walmart. Two of them are available at Target, and. Um, like I said, you can still find like, the Mega Ten and the Legendary Duelist Season 1 at uh, card shops as well. So I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, tomorrow, I'm thinking I might go ahead and show you all the cards that I pulled from our eight booster boxes. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 
I think everybody will kind of enjoy that so you can kind of get an idea on what you're looking at. Uh, anyway, I'll be uh, releasing something later. I hope everybody has a great rest of the week. And this is Zachary Fire and Games signing out.